I was going to talk about rendering, but actually this is something I forgot to mention in the last video. You'd think that hyperbolic geometry is harder to understand than spherical because it's harder to visualize. And that's true, but when it comes to what you actually see, it's quite the opposite. In general, hyperbolic geometry looks like a more exaggerated Euclidean geometry. You know, because it's hyperbolic. Things appear to get smaller faster, more space fits into the same perceived space, but things seem overall familiar. But let's take a trip to spherical flatland. We'll just say that everything below the equator is underground, and everything above is open space. So we can jump up and down and walk around. In fact, if we keep walking in either direction, we'll eventually come back to where we started. But what would you actually see? Let's cast some rays from our perspective to see where they end up. Objects close by aren't really affected much and look like you'd expect. But an object on the other side? Well, look how many of our light rays hit this rock. This tiny object literally on the other side of the world would look enormous in the sky and appear upside down. Sort of like a giant magnifying lens. The result is a reverse perspective. Farther away objects can appear larger than closer ones. Also notice that all rays eventually hit the ground. There's no sky per se, at least not when you can see without using fog or a draw distance. Alright, are you ready to go up one dimension higher? We're going to switch to first person now, but all the same things I just talked about in 2D apply to 3D. Should be pretty obvious now why I chose the title of this video. The reverse perspective is obvious, far away things appear huge and flipped upside down. Take a look at this house, it's pretty normal up close. But now let's go to the opposite side of the level. It's a pretty crazy effect. It's kind of like the house is inside out. The roof is above us and the walls are around us, but not in the way you'd expect. Also, if you walk in a straight line to the left or right, it looks like the world is rotating, even though you're actually going straight. Here I added a fence to divide the level in half. It's a really neat effect. Are you fenced in or fenced out? Anyway, there's a lot of really cool things to explore in spherical geometry. And I still want to leave some things for you to discover when the game comes out, so be sure to add Hyperbolica to your Steam wishlist, or subscribe to get the latest updates. And I'll see you all next time.